Hello friends, this video on components of food part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let me ask you something, it's, it's a, a simple question. Do you eat salads? A lot of you might say no. You might say that I don't like salads, it's like raw vegetables being cut. So when I say salads, it could be fruit salad, it could be vegetable salad. So salad is always you know, vegetables cut and eaten directly so you are not cooking it so you are just eating it if you do not eat salad what I would say is please start liking them do you know why because salads are very important for our body because in salads what we eat is the raw vegetables and fruits and the raw vegetables and fruits they provide maximum nutrients and do you know why so why is it better to eat raw vegetables than cooked vegetables? That's because what do we do when we cook? So when we cook, we put a lot of spices, we put some oil, we heat the vegetables and during that entire process, some of the nutrients get lost. So it is very important to eat salads, whether fruit salad or vegetable salad. So when you don't like salad, what I would say is start liking them and start eating them right away. So that doesn't mean that you will have to eat salads throughout your day. But yeah, at least once in at least in one meal, try to have some salads and cooking is also fine. But uh, uh, certain things that can be certain simple things which can be kept in mind while cooking can help you not to destroy a lot of nutrients in the food item. So you might wonder that how can cooking destroy nutrients in food because we eat almost everything cooked, we do not eat anything raw. So let's see what are those steps in the process of cooking that can help destroy nutrients. So the first thing is repeated washing of cut vegetables and pulses. Now before you prepare a vegetable, you would have seen that you first chop the vegetable and you wash it multiple times. Now when you wash it so many times thinking that there might be some dirt or some dust in that vegetable. But when you are washing it, you actually tend to uh, throw away the nutrients as well. Therefore, it is never advisable to wash the cut vegetables. So you should first wash the vegetables because whatever dirt or dust would be there, that will be on the outer surface of the vegetable, not inside. As long as there is no hole or nothing, anything on the vegetable. So once you cut the vegetable, do not wash it repeatedly. So washing is one thing that can, in, not only washing I would say, I would say rather repeated washing. So when you wash a cut vegetables or fruits repeatedly, that can destroy nutrients. So that's one thing. Secondly, heating. Now, Whenever we prepare a food, we either boil the vegetables or we fry the vegetable, but in either of the cases, we heat them, right? So when we heat the vegetables, a lot of nutrients get destroyed by when heated. Because when they are heated, sometimes their chemical composition changes and as a result, we actually lose the nutrients. So heating can actually destroy nutrients. The third thing is frying. Now when we fry something, especially deep fry something like how you see here. So deep fried stuffs, they have a lot of oil within them. Now too much, as I said, that oils again are rich in fats. So as long as you are taking them in the right amount, it's fine. But when you start consuming too much of fried foods, the problem is too much of fat start accumulating in your body and you tend to become overweight. You tend to develop a lot of diseases. So eating a lot of fried stuffs is also not good. Again, adding water while cooking. Now you would have seen that whenever you try to prepare anything, especially when you boil something, you add sufficient amount of water to it. When you prepare a curry, again you add sufficient amount of water to it. So adding too much of water to uh, any vegetable or fruit, that also uh, destroys the nutrients that might be present in the food. And when you look at these things which actually destroy the nutrients, you say that you cannot avoid them while cooking. So do you think that you can avoid heating while cooking? So you need to heat to, in order to get the vegetables boiled or cooked. So you cannot avoid heating. So you cannot avoid 
uh, adding water also because the vegetable would not boil on its own but what you can avoid is maybe you can avoid adding extra water many a times we just want to make it soupy and we just want to add more water so that can be avoided similarly uh, washing yes one time washing is important because if we do not wash at all it might contain some dust or sand particles so washing is needed but repeated washing can be avoided so these are some of the uh, common things that can be kept in mind during cooking so that uh, we lose minimum amount of nutrients from the food. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.